Hello, hello guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Trisha. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far. Today, we're going to be talking about the Abby and Finn diapers and wipes. So if you're interested, then please keep watching. So as with all my diapers and wipes reviews, all the timestamps will be given in the description box below. So if you guys want to skip to a certain point, then check that out. Okay, so first, a little bit about the diapers. So the core of the ingredients are sourced in the US and Europe, and they are assembled in a state-of-the-art Belgium-owned facility in Mexico. And the claims on these diapers are they are ultra soft, Super absorbent, totally chlorine free, free of fragrance, lotion, dyes, and latex. It's safe for sensitive skin and it's dermatologically tested and hypoallergenic. I will list the ingredients of the diapers now. And this is the pack. Ooh big this is the pack that the diapers come in so this is one individual pack and it's huge actually so this is the packaging of the diapers and now let's get to the close-up of the diapers all right guys so these are the diapers up close as you can see it says Abby and Finn right there that's kind of cute and this is what the back looks like so when you open these, it has a pretty wide tab that's a little stretchy. I mean, it's not too much, but it's just enough. And the same on this side. It's kind of stretchy and it has this accordion back right here. That's very stretchy actually. And it has a little margin right here. So I think this is what helps actually hold the poop in. And it has these designs here and on the inside if you see it has like no visible liner like the Pampers or the new Honest diaper so it's very soft actually on the inside this is the side stretchy panel it's kind of very stretchy and this is the mesh side panel and this part is very soft as well and the gusset is deep as you can see and this is the front part where the tabs attach and yeah and this mentions the size right here on this side there you go so yeah these are the diapers up close you can see that it does this is a size 4 like I don't know about you, but I feel like it runs a little small, especially narrow, like if you check this part out right here. So yeah, these are the diapers up close. And this is the pinwheel design, I think. So it's gender neutral. Now, when it comes to the sizing of these diapers, they do run really narrow. And I've noticed that they don't have a newborn size. And instead of the newborn size, they I think they skipped the newborn size and it goes up to size 7. And instead of size 6 that we see in all the other brands. So, like I said, these do run really narrow and I have a few other diapers for size comparison. The first one comparison that I want to do, and this is a size Four, by the way so this is the Abby and Finn diaper size 4 and this is it next to the classic honest diaper size 4 as you see it's very similar but I feel like Abby and Finn runs a little bit more narrow so that's that and this is the new honest diaper as you can see this is a little wider than this and for comparison's sake, I have a size 3 of Pampers Pure. So as you see, there's, it looks almost similar. So she can use both these right now. We're currently trying out the Pampers Pure. So stay tuned for that review as well. But um, 
yeah, so this is way wider as you can see from this one and this is a size 3 so that's that. Since it comes in that in this huge pack, the number of diapers actually differ when you compare it to the other packs. I will insert the size chart of these diapers right now. This brand only has a few prints to choose from, so I will insert all the prints right now so you can see. Most of them are gender neutral. Yeah, so check those out, right? I will insert them right now. did the absorbability demonstration. I used six ounces of lukewarm water with green food coloring and I checked it at checked it right immediately after after two minutes and then after five minutes. So we'll see how these diapers performed. it did perform pretty well it took a little bit longer to absorb like it wasn't completely dry at two minutes but I think it did pretty well at the end of five minutes as I've mentioned they also have wipes and this is the packaging of the wipes it says Abby and Finn and there are 72 wipes in this individual pack and these this is actually made in New Zealand so that's pretty cool and that's why I think there's like a little kiwi right there for the new zealand and it says no animal testing so there are only four ingredients on this and it's actually right here so why don't you read it out um so it's made of 97.7 percent triple purified water natural amino acid and soybean extract agent that is the antibacterial agent that's in the wipes and then there's organic aloe vera for healing and anti-inflammatory properties and there's also natural vitamin E which helps support the immune system cell function and skin health so as I said it has 72 wipes and a pack of four of these retail for $15 so I will actually list the price per wipe in the description box below. And as far as the packaging is concerned, it comes with this lid opening and it has a seal here. Usually it's not here right now because um, we're using it. And this is what the wipes look like. As you see, it, one doesn't like come out. You just have to like shake it out. But um, so this is what the wipes look like up close. It has... It has almost the same texture, like the design as the Honest and the Hello Bello wipes. It has a good amount of wetness and you guys, these wipes smell so good. Especially considering there's like no added ingredients or anything in here. It smells really, really good. And let's check the durability. Holy moly! Oh, that is so good. Like, I'm using all my strength here. That's crazy. Okay, finally. Finally. But that took a whole lot and it drained half my energy, honestly. But that's really good. A plus for that. And yeah, I can't stop smelling this, you guys. It smells so good. But yeah, and also... I don't know if I failed to mention it, but it is alcohol-free, hypoallergenic, eco-friendly, and fragrance-free. So, and it is also free of soaps, parabens, MIT, and again, fragrances. But 
I don't know, I guess it's because of the aloe vera that it smells so, so good, and I totally love that. And also, for comparison's sake, this is the Abby and Finn wipe, and this is the Honest wipe. As you see, the texture is like pretty much the same. So this is the Abby and Finn, and this is Honest. The only thing is that the Honest is actually slightly thicker. Top Honest, bottom Abby and Finn. Like, it's probably like not even a millimeter, so it's not very noticeable on camera, but you can like feel it when you're using them. So yeah, that's the difference again. A little close-up so this is honest and this is Abbey and since this is a small brand it's only available for purchase on their website and you have an option for like a single time purchase as well as for their subscription service and their bundle box is over $49 ship free now as far as the price is concerned you have to keep in mind that whereas other companies sell these little individual packs like this is just an honest classic one the abby and finn diapers are oh this is heavy it's pretty huge like you get a lot of diapers in here so the number of diapers in a pack varies from 36 to 66 diapers depending on what size you get so i think so this is size four and it comes with it comes in a pack of 52 diapers so there's like 52 in here and this single jumbo pack retails for $18.50 which is pretty well priced actually and that's for the single time purchase so this is $18.50 versus the honest one which comes close to $11 with tax I'm sure so there's like a six dollar difference i don't think abby and finn charges tax it, or for my state it didn't so it depends on what state you live in for the subscription option if you choose to go that route the jumbo pack will cost 16 dollars and 65 cents per pack so you end up saving about 10 percent if you go the subscription route and for the wipes it comes with four packs for $15. I will actually list the individual prices per diaper and per wipe in the description box below so please do check it out if you're interested. A little bit of details about their subscription service. The minimum pack of diapers that you have to get is three of these jumbo ones and they like I said retail for $16 dollars and 65 cents per pack so like i said you do end up saving 10 percent and the minimum number of packs you can get that route is three but you can add up to how many ever packs that you want in whatever size you want and whatever prints you choose that's available on their website and you also have an option to add four packs of their gentle wipes for ten dollars and five cents instead of the 15 so you do end up saving some money there as well and those savings end up close to 33 percent if you were comparing it to the 15 dollars if you were to order the wipes and the diapers you end up getting three packs of these and four packs of wipes for $60, which does end up being cheaper than most of the other subscription services that are available. There are also so many promo codes that are available that you can get like 30% off or 50% off your first bundle box. I will try and find some for you and list it below if you're interested. And just like any other subscription service you do get to add on certain other items for 10 percent off and they have a variety of products from like hand sanitizer antibacterial wipes diaper balm travel wipes shampoos conditioner bubble bath whatever it is that you want you can add it on for 10 percent off and for your first box you can also choose to add a free gift like I chose the little hand sanitizer set because of the times we live in now and it's very essential. So I can't seem to find where I put those though. I think it's probably in the car, but it's cute. I'll insert a picture if I can find it. And so I chose those. You can also choose from like a variety of bids that they have. 
So that's pretty cool as well. It's because it's useful. And you also have an option to modify, skip, or cancel the subscription whenever you choose. So it's very flexible as well. So this is the box that the diapers come in. It's actually pretty large and I love how cartoony this is. Like, look how fun. I absolutely love it. And it says Abby and Finn right here on one side. It says special delivery on the other. The same Abby and Finn and better diapers better world so this is the box that it comes in and when you open it it comes with this three packs of giant diapers and if you or if you had ordered wipes it would be right here but i took them out already and your free gift would be in here as well so yeah this is how they come Another thing that I found was cool is that they have like a membership reward point system. So let's see, I wrote it down. So there you get three points for every dollar you spend and there are additional ways to earn. So you get 25 points if you follow them on Instagram, 125 points if you sign up for their newsletter, which is cool because they send you like, they have a blog, so they'll send you different articles from like time to time, which I, I like reading them, so those are nice. And you get 250 points if you write a review, 25 points if you like them on Facebook, and 8,000 points if you refer a friend, and 250 points if you start a subscription. Once the points add up, you can redeem them. So for $500, you get $5 off your purchase. 1,500 points will get you $15 off your purchase. 1,000 points will get you $10 off your purchase. And 2,000 points will get you $20. And 2,500 points will get you $25 off your purchase. So. That's kind of cool. They have like, I think th the system reminds me of like the Ulta system. So I love how we can actually redeem them for cash value. I really like that about them. That's a cool feature. Now for the pros and cons about these diapers. I'm going to start with the pros. So the first pro is that these are very gentle diapers. Like we have not had any irritation or diaper rash or anything with these diapers so I can recommend them for babies that are like sensitive. We have had no blowouts in these so it contains the poops really well. I like that and these are actually very affordable compared to other plant-based diapers that are available. Another cool part that I love that I think is a pro is that they offer trial sizes so you get like I think seven or eight diapers and eight travel pack of wipes that you can try out for five dollars i think it's like four dollars and 95 cents something to be exact but i think that's very cool so if you were like hesitant to like actually get this huge pack of diapers you can go for the trial pack first and see how you like them so i love that they offer that before you know you commit to their jumbo packs and if you size up on these, these work as overnight diapers as well. And for the most part, we haven't had any leaks with this. So that actually gets me to the cons part. So these do run extremely narrow. Like they are very, very narrow. So if your baby's not lean, like I have a little chunker. So I had to size up on these. So I got a size four when she is truly a size three in all the other brands so my con is that if since these run narrow and if they're like about to outgrow it these do leak when you put this on and if it's like slightly towards one side or the other they tend to leak a little bit so that's my con about these so if you size up it's not an issue but that's my first con and the second con for some people is that there is no wetness indicator as you can see. So that's another con for those that need it. Even though they don't have a wetness indicator, I feel like it's really easy to tell when they need to change because these do get really poofy so you can just feel it and it's very easy to tell. 
And the last kind of con is that they don't have a newborn size. So if you have a preemie baby, they only have size one, which will last up to 12 pounds. So I'm not sure if this would fit all my preemie babies. Since these do run super narrow, I wonder if it would fit, but I'm not sure. It depends on the weight of your baby. I think from like six pounds onwards, a newborn size would be fine because they do run really narrow. It would probably come up to here on them. I don't think the fit down there would be a problem, but it would come up fairly high, I'm assuming. So like I said, the major con is that they run really narrow and I wish they redesigned it so that it would run a little wider, but that's the only major con that I can think of with these. Another con that I have to mention is that it only comes in this ginormous pack. So if your baby is like in between sizes, you have to size up or all these diapers are just gonna go to waste. So my final thoughts, these are honestly wonderful, high quality diapers that are priced so well actually. And these remind me so much of the old classic Honest diapers. So if you watched my other reviews, you know how much I love my Honest diapers. So these remind me so much of the old classic diapers. So this is just a size four in both of them and you can see that it's very comparable. And I will actually show you a close-up of these diapers because I think they are crazy similar. And these are made in Mexico as well. So I don't know if it's being made in the same facility or what, but these are crazy similar. And actually, the Abby and Finn performed better on the um, absorbability demonstration compared to the old Honest diapers. If you have not seen it, I will link them right now here. Also in the description box below and at the end of the video, whichever, if you want to check those out. But for the absorbability demonstration, this definitely wins. And I will show you a close-up of these diapers now because it's crazy how similar they are. All right guys, so this is the Abby and Finn and this is the old Honest diaper. Starting from the front, if you look at it, this part is pretty much, I'm not sure if you can pick that up on camera, but it's pretty much the same design for this strip right here and the tab designs are the same. Do you guys see that? Let's see if I can, don't mind my Band-Aid. So that's the tab design. It's pretty much the same. And if you open the diaper, this part, the accordion, The accordion part looks the same. This part looks very similar and it feels very similar. And if, and if you check out the design, can you, I'm not sure if you can see it, but right there, like these designs on both of them are very similar. And same with this Print, same with this right here, like it's very, very similar. And the inside, if you look at it, I don't know. Would you guys be able to tell the difference? Like it's identical as far as I'm concerned. But yeah, the only difference I've noticed is that this runs a tiny bit wider than this one. So you for sure need to size up on these, but how crazy is that? I think they're so, so similar. So as you guys just saw, it is a pretty darn similar. So for all my mamas out there that are not a fan of the new clean, conscious, honest diapers, I suggest you give these a try. Order the trial pack, see how well it fits your babe, size up if you need to, if you're in doubt, and see how they work. Because these are like the classic honest diapers with a much better price tag. So like I said, you can't go wrong with these, just don't forget to size up. And for my thoughts on the wipes, I really do like them as well. Especially because there's only four ingredients and they smell so good and they're very durable as you guys saw. It 
cleans really really well so i recommend these wipes and i think they are cheaper than the honest wipes i just wish they were a tiny little bit more thicker but it's not a big deal i will most definitely be repurchasing these again as well so yeah on the whole it's a thumbs up from me for both the diapers and the wipes if you were contemplating about getting these diapers or not just Try the trial pack. It's just $4 and it's better than like committing to the big pack and then realizing it's not for you. You know what I mean? So try those out. So yeah, that does it with this review guys. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And for those who are new here, hi, my name is Trisha and I like to do like baby videos, beauty, fashion, lifestyle. And I upload once a week, usually on Sundays. So if you liked my content, please do consider sticking around. So yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you here with another video very soon. Bye!